RJ Nestor, business and executive coach here. Very quick video for those of you interested in using smart blocks from Rome Hackers Rome 42 extension. This will show you how to install uh, Rome 42 in your Rome graph. Uh, because smart blocks are currently in beta, this uh, this is from December of 2020. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to install the beta version. In the future, it may be in the regular version. The installation is similar, uh, but uh, I have, have been with the beta version the entire time and never, ever had any stability issues. Uh, Rome Hacker is very uh, careful uh, with the things that are in that build. So let me very quickly walk you through this process. So this is, um, I'm in my, my demo graph here. If you go to Rome 42, Rome42.com, it will redirect you here into Rome Hacker's public Rome graph. If you come down here, it says Rome42 installation. Click on Rome42 installation. There are instructions here. Uh, you can follow them like that, or you can just uh, uh, follow what I'm doing here. We're going to install the testers version because right now the smart block beta is only in the testers version. As I say in the future, uh, you should be able to uh, install the full version, uh, but for right now, the full version is just down below here, and you see it tells you what to do. The testers version of Rome 42 is here. So what we're going to do when we install this is we'll copy all of this into our Rome graph. First, we need to come over here and create a page to house it. Now, in Rome, this JavaScript uh, can live anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to create, uh, for simplicity's sake, a Rome 42 JS, that's short for JavaScript, page. And so now that page is ready for this, we will simply take this and we will copy every aspect of this. You can see I've got this, this block copied as well as the code block copied here. I'm going to hit or select it. I'm going to hit, I'm on a Windows machine, so Control C, you can do Command C on a Mac, and then Control V or Command V to paste it. You'll notice that first line creates this um, page, this, Rome, this page reference to Rome slash JS. Um, that's what creates that. And now uh, it, it has this entire code here ready to roll. If you then click, this is important, you have to click, yes, I know what I'm doing uh, because Rome is trying to make sure that we don't have any uh, rogue JavaScript codes in here that could mess up your graph. Click this, and when you do that, uh, that will allow Rome 42 to load in your Rome graph. Now I'm going to, just for the sake of it here, um, hit uh, refresh so I can reload the page. Uh, and that will make sure that everything's running nice and smoothly here. It takes a little extra time for Rome 42 to load um, after your Rome graph has loaded. Uh, but once it has, you'll see up here in the upper right hand corner, uh, the Rome 42 specific uh, symbols. There you go. There's the jump to date and uh, the Rome 42 help menu. Now that that's here, that means that you can build smart blocks anywhere in your graph. I create a page called 42 smart block um, just because you're going to create that page anywhere. And a lot of mine live here. But to build a template, and this is very, very simple, all you have to do is tag 42 smart block and give it a name. We'll call this test. Once you come underneath it, and you can see you know it's you know it's special because it's got that little icon to the left of it there. Then whatever you want it to do here, um, whatever this workflow needs to be, you just create it indented, nested underneath this block. So uh, you know, testing this, and here's our test to run this and of course this is this is basic level obviously you can include other things uh, but to run this all you have to do we'll go to the daily notes page is hit two semicolons and it'll give you the option so you can hit test and there's the smart block that we did now full-fledged smart blocks have all kinds of of, uh, of uh, ways that you can customize the way that you can uh, put in variables, uh, things that are related to the date, things that are related to all, I mean, all manner of stuff. Uh, but on the basic level, this is how you install it. And this is how you, this is how you run, set up and run a smart block. 
If you're brand new to Rome, you don't need to worry about this. I know a lot of my videos are more geared toward those who are just starting out. But as you can see, this is not terribly difficult. And I think it's, if you're just working in your Rome, say you get text expander or something to do some templates in Rome, you don't need that if you're just doing that in Rome. These are a better way of creating these workflows um, on the fly within Rome. So that's how you do it. That's how you set up Rome 42, rome42.com, get the testers build, create a page. Um, I created that Rome 42 JS page, copy the JavaScript there and turn it on. And once you've done that, you can run these smart blocks just like everybody else.